Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I'm going to talk about the books that I might read in the month of November. First things first, I just want to say thank you uh, to everybody who commented on the video I put up back in August um, explaining why I've been a little bit quiet recently. Um, it hasn't been an easy time. Um, I'm still very emotional. Uh, and in that video I did talk about um, my cat who had been diagnosed with a heart condition um, and since that video was made sadly he has been put to sleep. Um, sorry, shouldn't apologise for being upset, um, it's natural. Uh, yes, so he his condition, um, the medications he was on helped for a few weeks um, but then he started to go downhill again and when the vets rechecked his heart, uh, his whole heart was in failure instead of just half of it. So uh, it was time to say goodbye. Uh, so that has affected my reading. I did have a whole load of videos filmed put up in the month of October um, and I just, I couldn't face editing and all of that so yeah um but it's November uh it it is November when I'm filming this actually um but I thought I'd have a go at filming um a maybe read video instead of a to be read video um I have specific plan I do have specific plans for November um but I'm leaving it very open as to what I do um as usual I have my book club picks for the month the first one of those is How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. Now, I'm not 100% certain that this book is the one that we're going to read, but it is the one that's got the most votes at the moment at the point that I'm filming this. Um, uh, so I'm fairly certain Jess will probably pick that one. Um, Jess has actually renamed the book club. It used to be the Just One More Page book club. She's now changed it so that it's now the Cozy book club. Um, and I think that does actually fit us a lot more. I, it, it fits with Jess's brand that she's building, but I think it fits our little book club uh, quite well as well. But yes, so it's possibly going to be reading How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. Um, and I think, I think it's going to be a bit of a mystery suspense. I'm not too sure. Um, all the actual, um, I've got my Kindle here. Um, all the synopsis says is they say you can't choose your family but you can kill them meet grace bernard daughter sister serial killer grace has lost everything and she will stop at nothing to get revenge and that's it um so i'm quite intrigued by that uh, i'm really looking forward to picking this one up um it doesn't fit with the the november read so i'm going to try and read it um as quickly as possible in the month uh because at the end of the month there's a readathon going on that it definitely doesn't fit for so i am going to have to rethink that um and think about when i actually read it um yeah so that that's the cozy book club pick i hope um i think for the month of november the other book that um i'm going to be reading this month for book club is for the literature book club um, again, this is one that I've been a uh, part of for a few months now. It started earlier on this year and the aim of this book club is to read uh, smutty romance novels. Um, this month we are going to be reading With a Vengeance by Freydis Moon. Um, and this one, I'm, again, I think it's I think it's LGBTQ+. I think it's a little bit paranormal. Um, it's about uh, a person, Kai, who left their hometown um because it wasn't any good for them to live there only they have to return after their mother passes away and while there they meet um a handsome shadowy presence um who offers them a deal in exchange for their soul and then there's a mystery surrounding what was going on with their mother's uh, business um and they are the only one who can restore their mother's, their, their family business. 
Um, so it sounds a little bit interesting. I'm, again, intrigued by it. Again, doesn't quite fit with the theme that um, I've got running for the rest of the month. Um, but yes, it sounds intriguing. It sounds interesting and I'm looking forward to picking it up. Um, not quite sure again when I'm going to pick it up because I need to... Um, yeah, I need to work out when I'm going to fit my book club picks in this month because they are not really what I'm in the mood for. Um, but I do want to read them at the same time. I am intrigued by them at the same time. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we'll see how it go. So, anyway, the mood for the rest of the month is being led by a readathon that is happening at the end of November. Uh, this readathon, again, is hosting by Steph, uh, Steph Loves. Uh, again, earlier on this year, she started a group called the Final Book Support Group. And every so often during the year, she um, attempts to run a readathon for that. The aim of the uh, Final Book Support Group is throughout the year. It's a year long thing. There is an open Discord available for it, um, which I'll leave Steph's channel linked down below. Um, I'll leave Jess's details as well linked down below. Um, but Steph. Um, has this open discord i'll leave it linked down below so you can go to her channel and check it all out but the aim of the final book support group is to support those of us who are serial series starters but don't finish them um i am guilty of that uh <laughs> there is another video which i will link either in the cards or i'll link down below uh when i talked about the number of series that i have on the go um earlier on this year and uh not much has changed um i think i finished a couple or i bought a couple up today I've, i have been trying to read some of the series um and prioritize and i feel really guilty now if i start a series uh and i'm definitely trying to um finish a series where i can if i start one that wasn't already on the list of ones that i had started so let's talk about what i plan to read uh, um, because that is driving the theme for the whole month. The readathon is only for a week, um, but I've decided uh, because Steph was asking some of us, did we want a weekend? Did we want a week long? Did we want a month long? Some of us voted for month long, including me. Um, Steph ignored us. Thanks, Steph. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, I've decided that for myself, uh, my mood is to continue series. I have a couple of series that I very definitely want to continue on with. Um, but yes, I'm going to try and read series for the rest of the month as well. So one of the series that I very definitely want to carry on with is the Play Hard series by Kay Bromberg. Kay Bromberg is one of my all-time favourite romance authors. Uh, I have her Driven series in paperback right here. Um, and she's written something, she's written 20 plus books and only four of them have I not read. And that is the four books in the Play Hard series that I haven't read yet. They're all available on Kindle Unlimited, so I don't have to pay out any extra money for them. And to be perfectly honest with you, by the time I've downloaded these four from Kindle Unlimited, it will have paid my monthly subscription for me, um, and I will have earned my monthly subscription. So I definitely want to read that series. Um, that series is about uh, family in America. It's sports-based romance. Um, but it's based around a family who run a sports management um, company. And it, it, so it follows different sports. The daughters of the family uh, are the female characters and they go off to represent different sportsmen men, um, around uh, America and fall in love with them. And, and that's basically the romance story. That's the premise. Again, it's not going to be massive in plot. Um, Kay Bromberg does write good backstories. Um, that is what keeps me coming back to her romance novels is that the stories that she gives the characters are fully formed. You don't feel like you only half know a character. Uh, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to picking them up and getting up to date with uh, Christie's writing at long last because I've fallen behind over the last couple of years. Um, but definitely want to get back up to date with her. I have a couple of books in series that I've already started that I've started in previous months and I want to make some progress on. So the first one of those is Fatal Voyage by Kathy Rikes. This is book four in her Temperance Brennan uh, series. They are murder mystery novels, uh, crime fiction. Um, 
If you've seen the TV series Bones, Kathy Rikes, who is producer on Bones, is the author of uh, the Temperance Brennan series um, and the books came first. Uh, they are based in what she knows. Um, Temp is a character based around um, the job that she actually did before she became a writer and she's a forensic anthropologist and through this she um, gets called to various um, sites. In Fatal Voyage there has been a crash, um, a plane crash and there has been a, um, an anatomy part found which doesn't seem to belong to any of the people that were on the plane and then there's this whole mystery around a property that was nearby the plane um, and yeah I'm, I'm about halfway through it I think at the point that I'm filming this uh, so I definitely want to finish reading that one um, I've been trying to reread the Temp Brennan series uh, for a few years now. I've really enjoyed them. Um, I read a lot of them when they first came out. I'm not up to date. There's now 21 books in the series. and I think I read the first 14 or 15 or so. Um, and I read them as they were released. Uh, so I want to get back into the series. Um, I'm enjoying rereading um, the book. I just seem to pick it up at the wrong time of day because I read a couple of pages and then fall asleep. It's not the book's fault. Um, but yes, I need to make more of an effort to read that one at times of the day when I am able to read without falling asleep. The next book in a series that I've already started that I want to try and again finish this month um, is one that I started in October. It's a series that it's a reread um, and it, it was just because I was... I needed to read uh, to settle my mind to help me come to terms with what was going on um, but yeah I got part way through this particular book and it's always the weakest book for me um, in the series when I read them and when I watch the movies and that will probably give you a hint as to what it is um, but yes it's The Goblet of Fire, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by JK Rowling, She Who Must Not Be Named. Um, I love these books, they are some of my favourite books of all time and I'm not going to apologise for enjoying a book where love wins the day. Um, however, disclaimer, I do not agree with JK Rowling's personal views um, and yeah, if I can avoid it, uh, I try not to support her as much as possible. But yes, I'm halfway through this book. I actually got to the part where uh, just the I think what actually happened is I've got up to Harry's name being pulled from the goblet but before that part of what got me to put it down was I came across an inconsistency in the book um Harry was born in 1980 uh year four took place in 1994 according to the timeline if you work from when Harry was born however in this book she says that the Delegations from Durmstrang and Beaubaton will arrive on Friday the 30th of October. But in 1994, the 30th of October was a Sunday. Um, and it just bothered me a little bit because I, at the point that I was reading this, it was almost Halloween anyway. Um, so yeah, so that did put me off a little bit. I have got one of my gorgeous autumn bookmarks in it from Daisy and B. They're a channel on Etsy, they're a shop on Etsy. Um, they sell gorgeous bookmarks. I try not to spend too much on them because I could buy everything they put out basically. But yes, I definitely want to carry on and finish Goblet of Fire this month. Um, I should fly through it really. I mean, <laughs> the number of times I've read these books I mean, this is one of the few books that actually has a spine crack in it that I put in it um, because that's how often I've read it. So, yes, yeah, so that's one that I'm definitely going to be trying to continue on with. Another book in a series that I am not going to finish this book this month. No way at all. But I have half a plan um, about this one. So I am going to continue Lord of Chaos by Robert Jordan. This is book six in the Wheel of Time series. Um, I started it earlier on this year and I only got about 24 pages in. Um, it's a chunky book. We're following um, a group of people that have left their home because one of them is fulfilling a 
thousands of year old prophecy that's one of the things i like about um the wheel of time series is that unlike some um series where there's a prophecy being fulfilled it's only been a few hundred years this has been thousands of years um and i quite like that um again robert jordan was actually initially heavily influenced by tolkien and again tolkien the lord of the rings takes place thousands of years after um the original uh battle um because of the rings so yeah i that's one of the things i enjoy about it my plan i should talk about this book really my plan with this book is and i saw this on someone's channel on instagram but i can't remember whose it was but they were basically they're working their way through the tolkien books and they're doing it a chapter a day so i am going to try and read a chapter a day of lord of chaos um now that's not going to get me to the end of the book this month but it means that i should get a good chunk of the way through um this is uh 55 chapters long um so if i stick with that then maybe i'll get it done by christmas potentially um but we'll see how we go um some of the chapters are quite long some of them are quite short um it just depends uh and i'll just see how i get on um so hopefully a chapter a day i'll get through this one quite quickly so that's that's my that's the three that i've already started that i want to uh get on with this month so i've got a couple of other series that i'm just going to mention um that i might continue on with so there's the jesse donovan um calderon runic warrior series um i think i'm two books into that series so i might try and continue that one um a series i've been wanting to continue since september when i read the first book is the plated prisoner series i have glint here which is book two i have ordered uh gleam and glow which is books three and four uh gold is currently out but it's in hardback so i'm not going to get that until it's in paperback when i can uh have all five of them sat on the shelf together really enjoyed this series really looking forward to continuing it and yes um i think it's one that i can probably get kind of up to date so then this month maybe another potential one i've been thinking about for a while is the morrigan crow series so uh wondersmith the calling of morrigan crow is book two in that series I might have a go at picking this one up um, during this month uh, just to the the weeks that the readathon isn't running my aim is to try and continue series that I've started rather than finish series um, so yeah so this would continue it it's book two uh, I've got all three of the books that are currently out um, so yes so that would mean I would continue that one another series that i've been meaning to continue for years and years and years and years and years uh is the winter night trilogy by Catherine arden this is book two the girl in the tower again i've read book one thoroughly enjoyed it it was beautiful writing um and i've been meaning to get to this since i read book one and i never did um so definitely want to see if i can get to this one this month uh and yeah i've got lots of romance novels um so i want to uh have a look and see what's in kindle unlimited um for the the books in series that i own i'm going to try and make a list of ones that are in kindle unlimited um so that i can i i've got more of an idea um at a glance so i can have a look and see you know because i can't really afford to buy books um i've got a few things happening this month which mean i need my spare cash for that uh, so i can't buy books this month um i've yeah uh there's very very few books i can carry on um there is the dragon realm series by katie and kevin sang the final book is actually out um which means i now have two books to read left in that series i might try and read book four in that um in that series but then we get to the readathon week and the aim of the readathon week i think is primarily to finish series we've started i have a few i have the royally series um 
which I really want to have a go and finish. I've got one book left, uh, which is just short stories set in that world. The series is by Emma Chase. I have the Sons of Roth series by Kerry Lake. These are dark romance, um, paranormal supernatural romance based around demon gods. Um, and I've got one book in that to read and that brings the series up to date with what she's written so far. The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I adored The Lunar Chronicles, um, but I haven't read the series of short stories that were written. So I've got those in my um, library that I maybe want to try and get to. Uh, Filthy Beautiful Lies series. Um, and at the point that I'm filming this, I can't remember the name of the author and it's just gone straight out of my head. Um, but yes, uh, again, only one book. I think it's Kendall Ryan. Um, only one book left in that series. Again, I should be able to finish it and knock it off with the list of books um, that I have on the go. Um, and another one is a sci-fi series by Christian Cantrell. The second book, uh, it's, I think the series is called The Children of Ockham. Um, can't remember what the book title is, but I will put, as always with all the other books, um, I'll put something up here. Uh, but yes, that again, I'm sorry if you can hear my cats squabbling, my other two cats squabbling. Um, they're not happy. They think it's tea time. I don't think it is. Uh, <laughs> but yes, um, this is a science fiction series set in an off-earth space um, uh, world. Um, and yes, there's been some revelations in the previous book. I don't know that this one actually carry straight on from that but I think it carries on with the fallout from what happened in that first book so I'm looking forward to picking that one up as well and yeah that's kind of what I planned so that is basically now I'm not saying I'm going to read any of these books that's just that's just where my thinking is at the point that I'm filming this video so those might be the books that I read in November um and yeah, we'll see where we go from here. Um, at the moment, like I say, I'm trying to make my way through Fatal Voyage. Uh, I haven't sat down and read my chapter of Lord of Chaos yet today. Um, so I shall probably have a go at that um, once I've edited this uh, video. And um, yeah, let's let's see where we go and hopefully there'll be an update in December for how I've got on with all of these books. Uh, I'm going to try to get back to a normal filming schedule. So um, at the very least, uh, TBRs and wrap ups. Um, so as always, I will try and post them at 6.30pm on Mondays. That is UK time. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already and you've enjoyed my video, then please subscribe, go and check out my backlist of videos. Uh, thank you. I've had a little flurry of new subscribers again recently. So thank you very much for that. Thank you to everybody uh, for sticking with me over the last few months while I've been absent. Um, I do very much appreciate it. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.